Welcome to the Pixaroma channel. In this short video, I want to show you how to easily control the aspect ratio in Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111. Let's get started. Open Stable Diffusion and go to the Extensions tab. Click on Available, then click on the orange button that says Load from to load all the available extensions for Automatic 1111. Use the Ctrl plus F shortcut to search for the words Aspect Ratio Helper. You'll see it in the description, which says, easily scale dimensions while retaining the same aspect ratio. On the right hand side, click on the install button. Now, go up and click on the installed tab to see all your installed extensions. Click on check for updates. This is where you upload all your extensions. If it says latest, that means all extensions are up to date. Click on apply and restart UI so your new extension appears on the UI. If it takes too long and doesn't update, just close the command window and restart Stable Diffusion. It should work. Now, we have a new element on our interface where it says, Off. You can click on it to see different options. If you click on the lock, it will lock the current aspect ratio. You can move the sliders, and it will keep that ratio. You can choose 3 to 2, which is portrait mode. Most digital cameras and DSLRs take photos in that format when in portrait mode. You can also use the arrows to switch to landscape mode, which is 2 to 3. If you are posting on Instagram, you can use the portrait aspect ratio, which is 4 to 5. Let's give it a test. Use the prompt, portrait of a Viking. In the style selector, choose cinematic. I have a video about this process titled installing style selector SDXL. Click generate, and you will get a portrait of a Viking. Let's try another aspect ratio, which is 16 to 9, commonly used in movies and YouTube videos. You can set the size to around 1024px, I tried 1200px here. Later, you can upscale it in image to image. Hit generate, and you will get a cool cinematic looking image. Now, under the image, you have some buttons, and the icon that looks like a photo allows you to send this to the image to image tab. Here, you can use the same ratio helper and choose the same ratio, 16 to 9, and make the image bigger. If your video card can handle it, you can go for a 1920 by 1080 px image, which is full HD and can be used in your YouTube videos. The image may look different because my denoise strength was too high, so I will use a lower value like 0.35 and generate again. And this is the final image, I think it looks great. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to receive more videos like this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section or join our Pixaroma Community Facebook group. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.